Lately, there's been a ton of Pixel 9 leaks coming out basically back to back, and recently, some of those leaks have given us a first look at what AI features we can mostly expect for the Pixel 9 series, and in this video, we're going to cover everything we know. Of course, this is just the beginning of our Pixel 9 coverage, so if you want to stay up to date, stick around and subscribe to the channel as we have a lot more coming your way over the next few weeks. And getting right into it, let's talk about what new AI features we can expect on the Pixel 9, and then we'll speculate a bit about the up upcoming Google AI branding changes. First, one of the biggest additions is a major overhaul to the screenshotting experience with a new feature called Pixel Screenshots. Keep in mind, this info comes from a leaked promo video via Android headlines, so nothing is 100% confirmed yet, but based on what we've seen, Pixel Screenshots will let you ask questions and summarize your screenshots. It does this by saving extra info like links, app names, the date and time, plus more when the screenshot was taken. This feature only works on manually taken screenshots and you'll access them through a new Pixel Screenshots app with a clean Material U based interface. There's a search bar at the bottom where you can ask questions about your screenshots just like you would with Gemini and you can also see an AI generated description overlaid on top of some of those screenshots. And it does appear you can run this on device powered by Gemini Nano. Personally, I think this is a smart angle for Google to go if things work correctly. I don't know about you, but my gallery is full of unorganized screenshots where I can typically never find what I'm looking for, so to have a simplified, dedicated space with smart features to help me locate specific items, it sounds genuinely useful, but we'll have to wait and see. The leaked promo video also gave us a quick peek at a new feature called Add Me, which seems to be an upgraded version of Best Take. Basically, you can now add someone to a group photo even if they're not in the original shot. It looks like you'll need to take two photos in the same spot, one with the missing person and one with the rest of the group, and then AI will stitch those images together. It looks interesting, but it does appear it might not be available at launch and could be exclusive to the Pixel 9 Pro series. The leak had some fine print saying, quote, coming soon and quote, not available on all cameras, apps, or modes. Plus the leaked version of the regular 9 ad had no mention of Add Me where the 9 Pro does, so we're definitely gonna have to wait and see how this plays out. Finally, for the last feature we could actively see in the promo, it looks like we will be getting a potential upgrade to Magic Editor where we can modify images using text prompts. It seems like this feature will revolve around a reimagined type prompt where we see the background of a photo being replaced with various versions of sunsets, but I'm guessing there will be more possibilities like reimagine with a different scene, art style, or specific object. Unfortunately, there wasn't much to go off of, but if this works as we expect, it could be a fun tool and a nice expansion to Magic Editor. And those are all the items we saw in the Leeds promos, but there's still a few more features that are simply reports at this time. One feature is known as Studio, which, according to a report by Android Authority, is supposed to be an AI image generator, much like Apple's Imagine Playground feature coming in iOS 18. From what we know, it's supposed to create images based on your prompts, but details are very scarce at the moment. If it is going to compete with Apple, I assume it will be able to generate images of people, places, things, art, and everything in between. Not to mention, it is reportedly supposed to work with the Pixel screenshot feature somehow. Like I said, there's not a ton to go off of right now, but I am curious to see how this will be implemented, and once revealed, we will have all the coverage for you. Lastly, we did get one more report this time around from Dylan Roussel on Twitter for another feature that most likely will be called Call Notes, which will let you record calls, which you can already do, but you'll be able to transcribe and get AI-generated summaries. It will most likely be powered by Gemini Nano, which makes sense since Google already has some solid summarization features and this should be processed on device, but the big question is availability. Call recording laws massively differ from country to country, so we'll have to see how Google navigates that. Apple, by comparison, offers a similar feature that is available in about 15 countries right now, most being the major ones like US, UK, India, Japan, China, Australia, and more, so maybe Google will be able to match that at least if possible. Which brings me to the final final point I wanted to talk about, which is how all or most of these features will be under a new branding called Google AI, meant to streamline the offerings and, at least to me, improve the user experience. Based on a screenshot from Android Authority, the new brand will encompass new and existing features like the upcoming Add Me, Pixel Screenshots, and Studio Editions, plus Gemini and Circle to Search. If I had to guess, this is a user experience move more than anything else considering there are so many AI-powered products in Google's portfolio, it makes sense to highlight the most polished, highly marketable items. This could also be a response to Apple Intelligence or Galaxy AI since those two are heavily pushed
pushing their own AI initiatives. Depending on how things go, I expect this will be a good move since AI features are starting to get a stigma for basically being bloatware, so if Google can highlight some of their most useful additions that truly help people, it should keep things focused and the average consumer should have a better time knowing what's worth trying out. I did talk about this in my previous video, but AI features are starting to become a quantity versus quality conversation, and if Google can start going towards more of the quality direction, I think people are going to start having a higher opinion of all these AI services. At the end of the day, all of this should be taken with a grain of salt until the August 13th Made by Google event, but in the meantime, I wanted to get you ready for what you should be expecting. My question now is, what do you guys think of the new features possibly coming down the pipeline? And if you are getting a Pixel 9, what features are you actually excited to use versus ones you might never use? Leave a comment and let me know as myself and the Android community would love to get information on this. And with that said, I'm getting out of here. Before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Long story short, we greatly appreciate you guys as we work very hard to bring the best Android content on the platform and your support is really helpful. If you're a channel member, don't forget to grab the July wallpaper pack and if you aren't a member, hit the join button to gain access to our entire backlog of exclusive 9 to 5 Google wallpaper packs made for our viewers. Either way, this has been Jordan Floyd from 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.